Congratulations, sir. But uh, I think it's time, Mason. Let's move on to some MMA news. All right. A lot of different stuff has happened in the world of MMA. Man. A lot. Mainly with Fight Island. Fight Island mm-hmm. is official. They did release where it was. The rumors were correct, by the way. Uh, you were talking on the show. I knew it wasn't confirmed yet, but the rumors were kind of cir- circulating. You had brought it up on the podcast. But it is in Abu Dhabi. It has been confirmed. Uh, four cards. July 11th, 15th, 18th, and 25th. Whoever thought of Fight Island in the UFC's PR and whoever thought of putting out that message of, hey, I bought a private island, is a fucking genius. One, because it was a giant lie and they were f- completely full of shit. <laughs> right. This is not even a private island. No, it's not. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like an interstate driving straight for- Mm-hmm. <laughs> what the fuck? You guys told us they bought a private island and there was going to be tiki torches. A fucking, I get apparently <laughs> just sand fights, just, just sand fights, just, just fucking yeah. uh, just a ring of fire. Yeah, the dude from Mortal Kombat comes out, shoots ice for him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to the death. That's what everyone was expecting. Of Everyone's course. imagination was going wild. Well, right. I mean, it it leaves so much room for imagination and and for the PR team to do that. It's brilliant mm-hmm. because it got so it got everyone talking. And mm-hmm. then I got to be honest, when they announced it on that on this card, this card this week and they were like, "Get your Fight Island merchandise." I was like, "Shit, I'm going to go check that stuff out." Mm-hmm. It's brilliant. It's mm-hmm. so smart. You're going to sell so much merch. Oh, I'm buying a Fight Island t-shirt. Oh, you have to. How do you not buy a Fight to. Island t-shirt? Absolutely. It's going to be a pink one with blue letters. And dude, it's 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 groundbreaking. It's history break. There has never been a sports organization, whether it's a private island or not, has ever built or have, has ever bought and built a facility like this on a island. Mm-hmm. Like it is, it is freaking cool, dude. And this is the, this is like the one place, I guess it's like a 10 mile radius. Yep. Everyone can be quarantined. I mean, this is the future. If we have to deal with another coronavirus thing, this, this is going to be the only sport that's going to be able to, uh, to continue going year round all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, mixed martial arts is different than other sports. They don't have an off season. Yeah. So it's, it is so important for an organization like the UFC to be able to continue to go year round, no matter the circumstance. Absolutely. And that's what they're doing. It's awesome. Absolutely. It's awesome. I wish they didn't tickle my balls so much because I was really disappointed. I thought it was actually going to be on a tiny fucking (laughs) Island, you know, with the fucking, I thought they're actually going to fight in the cage on the sand, dude. I was like, they're going to have fucking cameras set up in the sand. Like it's going to be awesome. There's going to be sand in the cage on the floor. No, it's not happening. It's just PR move. They're just taking pictures in that cage. Apparently, they're not actually going to fight in it. But since it's in Abu Dhabi, like the Dustin Poirier Khabib fight, it will be outside, but with a roof, like an arena around it. So technically right. outside. In My only problem with that is um, hopefully they can build a facility where it's not 110 degrees. I think that does oh, think play a fucked. huge factor. I think they're fucked anyways. Yeah. I think it's going to be 150 July. In Abu Dhabi, I don't know what their seasons are. Every, everyone knows seasons change. You yeah, know, they do. Places world so depending, depending on where the hemisphere. It is, could be know, fucking right. winter there. And I'm not a who knows. Whatever yeah, person. I have no idea. Uh, nor do I. <laughs> it could I'm be so ignorant early. when it comes to world yeah. like geography. I have I'm, no idea. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell you anything no, about that shit. No more. You know, so it could be winter over there. Maybe it's snowing. <laughs> <laughs> in the desert of Abu Dhabi, just snowing. Uh, it snows at uh, night. That's funny. Like 120 degrees in the morning. Yeah. Well, either way. Let's no, talk about these cards. Yeah. Now, man. So essentially cards announced so far. We have two cards before Fight Island. What was that? Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Uh, Blades versus Volkov for June 20th. That is next week. We will be doing a preview show for that. Might be at the end of this episode. We'll see. We're at 56, no, 35. 35 yeah, it's yeah. probably going to be at the end of this It'll episode. be at this. Yep. We'll see. But that's a great card. That's an absolutely great card. Blades versus Volkov. What a fucking main event. That's a that's a main event caliber card it right is. there. That's a great main event. I don't think it goes five rounds. Yeah, I, I feel for Blades, though. Because it's like, even with a win over Volkov, what are you going to do? Get the next title shot, even to, though you're number three? He'll yep, never he's just going to have it. to fight another guy. Maybe yeah. a Rosen strike after he beats JDS or something like that. You yeah. never know. It's just going to keep... Until this Francis Ngannou and this other stuff we're going to talk to in a little bit later finally goes through, then we can start talking blades, maybe mm-hmm. with the title shot and stuff like that. But so many fights need to happen. And this heavyweight division is a little bit logjam at the top. Things will be moving. Well, thank out. God. Let's talk about that. Let's just talk about it. It was finally signed. I, I don't know if you, <laughs> you can't you wait. put it on the movie news notes. But, I, I mean, let's let's just talk about it since we're talking about the heavyweight okay. division. Stipe versus DC is finally signed. Finally. Thank the friggin' MMA gods. August 15th, uh, I believe this one's also at Fight Island. 
Uh, so this is preference at because they have not announced where it's going to be because ah, they're okay. still holding out hope that maybe in August we might be able to start selling tickets. They're holding out hope on that. They might want to try to get this in an arena. We're just waiting on states to say it's okay. Once everyone says it's okay, hey, maybe you could sell a third of the arena out. I we'll think see. I think for a spectacle like this, it would be very nice to have fans mm-hmm. in attendance only because it is such a pivotal fight for both men's careers. And it's DC's last fight, period. <clears throat> well, it could be Stipe's too. It could be Stipe. Yeah, it could very well. It could both very well. Both retire. men could retire at the end regardless. Yes. Yeah, it's a very that, that's definitely a possibility. And then we could have maybe a Francis Ngannou title fight one or two weeks later. <laughs> Wouldn't that be <laughs> that crazy? That would be awesome. Right Thank off the you, bat, please. we get another champ. That'd be awesome. But either way, man, I can't wait for that fucking fight. I can't wait. This is the one fight. Like, this is now turning into my uh, Khabib Tony. Yeah. Because we're never getting that fight. I can never be hyped about it again. Yeah. I'm, I cry myself to sleep every night. Gonna have it. to. But this is turning into it. I cannot fucking wait for this fight. If this fight falls out, I'm going to say, I'm going to do everything I said I was going to do when Tony and Habib fell out and didn't do. <laughs> <laughs> I what? freak out. I, I just lose my shit. Let's backtrack, though, now that we talked about that, which is set for August 15th. Uh, l- let's let's move on to this June 27th card. I am stoked about the main event of this card as well, Poirier versus Hooker. What are your yep. thoughts, Tabes? Oh, my goodness. That's, that's the, fight the we main event. Yeah, That's the biggest fight they've announced so far, in my opinion. And there are some big fights a, week, a couple weeks after, but that's the biggest one. In a log-jammed fucked up lightweight division you have the former title challenger former interim champion versus the up and coming maybe future number one contender especially if he wins this fight yes like the only other fight i think i'd get more excited with dan hooker is maybe justin gaethje but we all know that's not happening no in in rightfully so gaethje deserves habib end of discussion Mm -hmm. he is the interim champ right now so Mm -hmm. absolutely i can't wait for that fight i can't wait dude Poirier Hooker, this is going to be a five round war, dude. Yes, I don't see it going on any other way. I don't see either guy finishing. You never know. You never know. I can't. Yeah, just say you never that. know. But you I mean, know. it's going to be a four five round war, war. man. War, For absolute sure. war. It's, no one's going to walk out of the cage. Both men are going to get wheeled out. One of them might be separated from their consciousness. We'll, we will see. I can't wait for that fight. Dustin Poirier probably has some of the best boxing. Weird. Like, I can't just say it's pure boxing because it's not. This is an MMA boxing. That's what Dustin Poirier has. He's got right. that thug jitsu. That he is so fucking good. His style is so unique. I can't wait because Dan Hooker is that classic New Zealand kickboxing style. And he is so long. And he has such a long reach. It's just such an interesting fight. Well, we know those uh, New Zealanders are uh, taking off here in the UFC, too. Mm -hmm. You know, Volkanovski Mm -hmm. being one of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's more Australian, I guess. But I'm not shocked that Hooker and Volkanovski have fights within a few weeks of each other because they're main sparring partners. Yeah, I'm sure. Israel's probably going to have a fight here pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't be shocked if that fight gets announced. I was hearing they were thinking two pay-per-views in July. We still do not know. They're saying, as of right now, 15th, 18th, and 25th, they're wide open, but they are fight nights. And we already have a main event for 251. So apparently there isn't a main event. Man, we got a lot of work ahead of us uh, this summer, Tabor. Mm -hmm. A lot of work. We're back. We are back in full swing. But yeah, exactly. Now it's full swing. Now we're finally getting shit announced weeks out. Now we're not just getting bombarded. Hey, three days, boosh, giant card, and just get fucking knocked out from it. It's not happening no more. All right, let's talk about the big one. July 11th, UFC 251. This might be one of the most stacked cards that I've ever seen. Oh, absolutely. Usman versus Burns for the welterweight championship of the world. Volkanovski versus Holloway 2 for the featherweight belt. Holloway obviously coming off that loss against the... Uh, uh, very talented Alexander Volkanovsky. And then we have the vacant bantam weight belt on the line. Jan, Petra Jan versus Jose Aldo. Are you fucking kidding oh me god. or what? Three title fights, Tabes. Oh my what are god. your thoughts? Oh my god. And, well, fuck. We, that's not even the rest. The rest of the card is still fucking. Andrade versus Namunis, too. That's title fight caliber. That is a oh, that's a uh, number one contender. The fuck? That's a main event on a fight night anywhere yes. in the entire fucking world. That's a main event on some pay-per-views. They ha- that was a main event pay-per-view in Brazil. Well, think about it. That that was the former uh, title fight, man. Oh so I- I'm telling you, it's a number one contender. That's such a great fight. The other fight's cool, too. The other fights are cool, too. Rebus versus, v- Rebus versus uh, Van Zandt. That's a great yep. fight. Can't wait for that. Frankie Edver versus Pedro Munoz. Fuck. I like that. 
I Dude, like this that is, fight too. This That'll is two forty nine all over again, except with three mm-hmm. title fights, man. Unless fucking Amanda Nunes drops out, who knows? But right. <laughs> <laughs> she's back again. What, fighting an, Nate what an impressive card, though. What an impressive, so impressive lineup. Are you kidding me? So impressive. I can't wait for that card. Dude, it's going to be Companion fantastic. Is oh, definitely it's definitely happening, happening July eleventh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No doubt about yeah, it. Yeah. Unfortunately, I had to do some shit two fifty, so we didn't get to do that. But two fifty one, yeah. Bet your ass we're doing a fight campaign. Yeah. If I'm, if say I'm just stuck in Myrtle Beach for some reason, I will be on Skype <laughs> watching <laughs> the fight companion. Yeah. yeah, you could just throw me in on Skype or right. on phone call, and I'll fucking be in it. I'm here. I'm here. I'm committed. But oh my god, what a fucking card! What a card! Main event: Usman versus Burns. Let's talk a little bit of that. Did Burns deserve the title shot? Stupid question. Absolutely. Absolutely, he did. And it's such a weird, it's such a weird thing, and and it put Jorge Masvidal in a real tough spot. Mm-hmm. I mean, how do you deny that Gilbert Burns does not deserve the title shot? I mean, give mm-hmm. me give me one sliver of evidence where you're like, oh, this is way too soon for Gilbert Burns. No, no. you can't. He Maya, took out the two number one contenders, Maya, and then Woodley. Like, and what the back only, to back? Yeah, the only other person who has ever been able to do that, Woodley, to Woodley in his entire career. Woodley's entire career was the champ right now. Mm-hmm. So let's put both the guys with dominant performances against each other. Mm-hmm. I love this matchup. I love I'm, it. I am so excited about this fight. Yeah, this I love is the it. fight that needs this, to happen. This is a bigger fight than Usman Masvidal. I'm I sorry. Think I think it is too. For hardcores, too. for casuals, yes. no, it's not. It is not for casuals. Well, not for casuals. But for hardcores, dude, this is the fight. Because, yeah. I, dude, I'm, I'm nervous for Usman. I'm not gonna lie, Burns. Oh, the yeah. way he the way he dominated Tyron, mm-hmm. it was Usman esque. It was almost a little bit more dominant, not in the terms of wrestling, but dude, I don't know, man. I just I feel like Burns is on another level, another level right now when it comes to striking yes. and chaining those takedowns into his striking. <sighs> I'm very excited for this fight. Yeah. If it stays on the feet, expect Usman to get knocked the fuck out. That's at least what I'm thinking. Wow. Yes. Dude, really? Colby, Colby is not a good striker. I'm just going to say this right now. Colby is not a very good striker, but he went five rounds with Usman. Usman, and man, sub- I don't know if I agree with that. Usman though, showed but- he was a superior striker against a guy who has literally wrestled his entire career. Right, but I mean the volume of strikes that love him or okay, hate him, but the volume, the volume yes. of strikes that Colby Covington throws, you it's can't really compare. It's a lot, so and he was almost KOing Usman with a few yeah. of those shy, shocks. So, dude, if Burns hits and connects very good on Usman's jaw, I would not be shocked if he goes asleep, dude. God, I would not be, be so shocked. Wild. It'd be crazy. It'd be so crazy. Again, though, like uh, the welterweight division is actually getting it's a insane. lot of fun too, man. Because it's like you know, with this guy like Gilbert Burns, you just you don't know. Yeah, it's getting crazy. You do not know. It's getting absolutely crazy. Fuck, man, that division is just absolutely stacked. I feel bad for George. So you know, MMA news. George said this. He did get a last minute title shot before they made this Burns fight. Yeah, and it was essentially a take it or leave it offer. Mm-hmm. You no, know, I'm not shocked, dude. Like they tried. They really tried to get this fight to happen. That's the fight everyone wants to really see. This is a fight that was promised to us. But, I mean, when you're in a division where you got up-and-coming savages and that are constantly fighting, that, you know, Gilbert Burns could have a and four- or five-fight year this year. Say he wins and then yeah. gets another defense in? Say we get a Usman Burns mm-hmm. too and or it something does, like that? It does suck. You don't make a ton of money, but you have so much more negotiation pull when yes. you are the champion. Yes, and then— If you're getting a shot at the belt— Take uh, and, you and it's so take easy it. for me to say because I'm not in the ring. But take your licks, you know, and and just take that, you know, two hundred thousand or whatever they're going to offer you, which mm-hmm. isn't isn't a lot. But then when you're champ and the BMF champ, like mm-hmm. I mean, if he were to win that fight, which you know, uh, say what you will about that, but if you were able to do that, he could negotiate anything at that time. But yeah. the problem is, is if you don't take that fight, then you're just. In the rankings. Mm-hmm. And if know? Gilbert Burns wins, you know this motherfucker is going to get rewarded big. Oh, yes. Big. Probably not with this payday, but the next one. The next one. Gets on that pay-per-view sure. points. The man's going to make a lot of fucking money. So it's so many fighters have said this. Title shot opportunities do not come every single day. Nope. If you are turning down title shots, that is not a good thing. No. I'm sorry, George. It's not a good thing. This is not a good. Uh, yeah. You have to take that one. Mm-hmm. You have to. You, you have to. You just have to, unfortunately. And I feel bad for the man because he's just getting shafted. He's fucked. There's he nothing he can him. do. He's yeah. just absolutely fucked now. He's going to have to take a fight because he's not. He, you now, never know. Maybe, maybe he retired, gets, so he'll probably rematch Nate. Yeah. 
rematches Nate, that's going to be his biggest payday, really. Or I'd rather see Connor him. I'd rather, yeah, but I'd rather see him fight uh, Colby Cummington. Absolutely. I'd that's the fight that. I would love that's to see. That's the fight I really want to see. And I think that one could actually sell. Yeah, but if he's not fighting, yeah, but if he's not fighting Usman, he's not going to take a title fight. I don't think he's yeah, taking what else a is normal he gonna fight. Take? No. He'll it's probably, I mean, what, what do we, what, do, you, do you think we'll ever see him fight again? Oh, fuck, that's a tough question. I don't know. I hope so. I absolutely, I hope so. I think so. Probably. Yeah. It Eventually would just be. It would be such a weird story being Jorge Masvidal yeah, and to on retire the come that, up like that, and then just to retire. Yeah. Like it just it feels Before like you're getting shortchanged. Shot. You know, yeah. like that. It just doesn't feel right. Yeah, I feel bad for the guy, but you know what? He could have said yes. Yeah, he would have had a big fucking. He would have felt like it would have been taken an L because obviously he's giving the win to the UFC here right? Yeah. by caving. But you know what, dude? It's Sometimes it's what you got to do. If yeah. you fucking start Marty. if you Marty, believe, yeah, exactly. He's the best in the world, and he's fucking got the BMF mm -hmm. belt also. He's got two belts, essentially, from one division. Yep. Dude, he's going to sell big money I just, if he would have won. I don't understand uh, the... I don't understand why you wouldn't take that fight. Because as you said, you have... You're, you're a double champ. I mean, in, in... You know, I mean, double champ. Let's Let's... Double champ, but you, I mean, think about how much promotion that is, Tabor. Mm -hmm. You got the UFC belt and then you got the baddest motherfucker belt side by side. You're a superstar. Yeah. Take that fight. Take it. Take it. Take it. Unless you can't you know, just leave that opportunity yeah, untaken. Unless you really didn't think you were, you know, going to win that fight and you wanted to make as much as you can before you retire. Yeah. But I just Could don't understand how true. you don't, I, I don't understand how you just don't take that one last fight before you're a superstar. You know, and like a true superstar. Mm -hmm. I think if Jorge Masvidal would have beat Usman, oh, yeah. he would have been a superstar. A s one that can and sell now he didn't a get lot that, of pay-per-views. Yeah, and he didn't get that opportunity, you know, because of uh, contract negotiations. Yeah, fucking but sucks. It does suck. Yeah, but co-main event of that card, moving on a little bit. Volkanovski Holloway 2, another fight that needed to happen, and I'm so glad it happened. And another fight, like, these guys have fought on the same card. Volkanovski's Holloway 2 fought on that Usman Covington card, yeah. so... Fighting around the same time, kind of yeah, like it. Yeah, I'm. Uh, hmm. I like. That I don't fight. like the. I don't like the uh, immediate rematch. I just. I don't. Not for Holloway. I think it's better for Volkanovski than it is Holloway. But I. I don't know. I don't know. I. But I mean, again, Holloway was such a dominant featherweight champion mm -hmm. for you know three four years. But still, I just. I don't like an immediate rematch. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't think it's going to go well for Hallway. When I think you, Volkanovski will probably implement the same thing and be yeah. effective doing it. Yeah. yeah. And if not, watch, mark my words, Volkanovski will attack those calves. Oh, absolutely. He, he is going to utilize that, and I, I think it's just going to be the same story. Absolutely. Well, yeah. that's why it was such a dominant performance in the first place, because mm -hmm. he just completely took Holloway's legs out from under right. him, took away his footwork, couldn't get in and out as fast as he wanted to. But I don't know, man. Holloway's the one of those champions where, you know, he's considered one of the goats of that division. So I'm oh, not shocked. He they definitely went. is mm -hmm. one of the goats of this division. Yeah, so I'm not shocked they went with the immediate rematch. Yeah. I agree with you. I don't really like it all the time. You know, I wouldn't have mind seeing maybe a Korean zombie title fight, something like that. But I just don't know if there's too many 145ers right now that could be considered deserving. Yeah. Who else? It makes sense. I mean,. <laughs> Mag, I mean, I think Brian Ortega of, yeah, still hasn't fought. That's what I was going to say. Brian Ortega versus Korean Zombie. That needs to happen. That, but that never happened. Yeah, so and, like, and that fight needs to happen. Brian Ortega is not getting a title shot after no. a title shot loss. He hasn't fought since fucking 2018. Right. So, I don't know, man. Yeah, I can't believe Zabit's number three in the world. Yeah. Oh, that's he wild. is? Holy shit. I mean, maybe that fight. That's yeah. probably the only other fight they could have made. He ain't doing Yarir versus Volkanovski. No. Zabit, that was it. That's it. Max Briner take is not getting it. So I'm fine with this fight. They needed a fight. It's the only fight to make really right now, unless it's Zabit. Who knows if Zabit can even get out of the country? I'm sure he can. I'm sure he can. Maybe not, though. Well, yeah. One thing I wanted to say is, uh, so Leon Edwards also was offered the title fight with Usman. He passed on it. He passed on it. And he said it was travel restrictions, stuff like that. Didn't get a full camp. Wasn't getting a full camp. Didn't want to do it. Travel restrictions, blah, blah, blah. But that's kind of bullshit because Sarah McMahon goes left the U left the UK and mm -hmm. she's going to fucking Fight Island. So I just think he just didn't want didn't want to take the Usman fight without a full camp. Yeah, but can you I mean, yeah. 
I don't know. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Usman's it, such a fucking beast. I wouldn't right. want to fight him without. Well, it's AB the same thing either. with Jorge. Like, I don't blame Jorge for not taking that fight either. But where it's a little bit different with Jorge and uh, is just the fact that he had all that time and he still didn't mm-hmm. take the fight. Because we heard about that announcement, what, three months ago? Mm-hmm. Two or three months ago, and it never came to never fruition. Happened. So, yeah. Either let's way. talk about the vacant bantamweight uh, belt. Yep. Yawn and Aldo. Well, let's oh talk about goodness. the former bantamweight champion of the world. Coming out and saying that uh, he would come back if he were to fight Alexander Volkanovsky for the featherweight belt of the world. Yeah. Triple, C Triple C wants to be quadruple C. So that would be, what do you think about that? Do you think that would ever happen? I think because the featherweight division is really not that, it's not that it's not stacked. It's just not that well known. Yeah. You know? and, well, and nothing's happening in the top five right now. Nothing's right. really turning. So, you know, Volkanovski needs fights. And I, I would love to see that. Henry versus Volkanovski. I'd actually uh, pay for a pay per view. That could be a main I would event. Watch it. Unquestionably. I would watch it. Volkanovski's yeah. not that much taller than no, Henry. No, he's not. He's pretty sh- uh, short and stocky. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's definitely thicker. I mean, shit. He used to play rugby at 200 pounds. It's oh, crazy. Yeah. Crazy, dude. Yeah. Pictures of him. I know. He looked like me. He doesn't even look like the same dude. <laughs> dude, at he, was, all. he was huge. He wasn't even that jack. He was just chunky, but yeah. he was fucking huge and thick. So let's thick talk boy. about Jan versus Aldo. Uh, great fight. I, I love great this. Uh, I, I much rather, rather would have preferred to see uh, Petra Jan versus Aljamain Sterling. Absolutely. But Dana White came out and said after Aljamain's uh, performance that he is guaranteed the next shot. So we'll see how this goes. I got, you know, I mean, I know we're not doing predictions now, but I don't see how Petrion doesn't win this fight. Yeah, absolutely. I'm taking Yon as well. But yeah. did you see what Henry said? No. He goes, sorry, MMA community. It's all my fault that Aldo's getting this fight. <laughs> <laughs> well, it he's is. right. Yeah. It's absolutely his fault. You know, just because they made that fight once before, he doesn't deserve it. Took that L to Marlon Rice. Yes, I did think he win. Yes, he was the number one in the world, but still, it's like, Dude, it's your first fucking fight, yeah. and it's a loss, and then you're getting a title shot. Like, come on, guys. What are we doing here? But we just gave Dominic Cruz a title shot, so yeah, I'm we did. not shocked. Which not shocked. I still disagree with that. Mm-hmm. That Dominic Cruz one, I don't mm-hmm. I don't get that either. And Yoel Romero got the title shot after coming off two losses, so whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Everyone's getting title shots. It's like Oprah up in here. <laughs> <laughs> uh. so-